I'm glad that I actually did this for only an hour and 15 minutes and that's actually vlogging it. If I did this without vlogging it, I'd probably do this in less than an hour. This is my look, my life, my book. This is my destiny. This is my destiny. This one here, it's on medium low. I wanted to give you the tap just so you guys know what's going on here. But you want it simmering. The low one, it, it wasn't simmering a while ago, so you want a little bit of like tiny, tiny bubbling. That's what we want. I got the pot clean, the pan. So I'm gonna turn this to high, this pan. And let's check our pasta. I don't know how long was that. Probably four minutes ago. Uh, I don't know, so I'm just gonna test it either way. So I don't know how long. Yeah, it's still hard. Not even close. So give it more time. See the little bubbles there? You want that? You want? Can you see that? You want that little bubbles? So that's simmering right there. So I got the. Uh, Indonesian style chicken here, ready for uh, serving later. Okay, let's turn this off. I turn this off. I'm waiting for this water. I'm going to blanch my broccoli on this pasta water so I don't have to boil another water, you know? It's the same water, it's just pasta water. Pasta water is not a bad thing. All right, let's see. You can also just part cook your pasta. Oops, this is a jumping pasta. So for me that's good. That's done. I'm gonna go just grab that and put in a strainer and then rinse it off with water, cold water, so you remove some of the starch outside the pasta. And then I'm gonna try to keep the uh, the water there. I'll be right back. Turn that off. Keep this. See, it's, it's getting more bubbles, so I'm gonna turn it down again. I know I play with the I play with the heat a lot because I don't like chewy chicken. I want to make sure it's nice and tender. It's reducing a little bit, if you notice the sauce, the actual curry sauce. It's going low. See, it's reducing. All right, I turn it down low. I'm gonna grab this pasta. Hopefully I can save the water. And then I'll come back and we'll continue. I'll be right back. All right, I got the water, I saved it. <laughs> uh, let me bring this back to a boil and then I'll put my broccoli and then we're gonna saute the broccoli. So we put the oil when it's hot, it looks hot to me. Okay, just that much. Just kind of coat that bottom of the pan. So we're gonna do by batch because I don't have enough room for, I don't have a big, pan for the kale so once it's hot again we're gonna put the kale in this one I'm gonna add a little bit of a salt I like having salt in my kale you notice I didn't put the basil on the uh, chicken yet and the uh, pasta sauce because I told you I put it raw at the end because by the time we reheat it I don't really want to have the basil like too wilted you know I want it as fresh as possible okay this is hot Hear that? That's what you want to hear. But we're gonna do it in two batch. Okay. We're just sauteing it. Nothing fancy. And then add a little bit of salt. I use a Himalayan pink salt. That much. Or as much as or less as you want. I like to use tongs for my kale. So I can like do it like this, see?
You can also put a little bit of water to steam it a little bit. But I like to do this like dry like this. Pop up with a little bit of water. Once again, there's also, you know, I still need to reheat this when I when I eat it, so I kind of just half cook it. So you're just gonna keep the heat high on the tail. And I'm gonna cover it a little bit so it steams it a little bit. All right, let's see. Woo! The fireworks. All right, this is boiling. I'm just gonna leave, leave that boiling like that because I'm I'm not done with my tail yet. Maybe I'll turn it down a little bit. Because I'm only gonna blanch the broccoli for like about a minute. All right, so you cook your kale to your liking. So I like it not overcooked. <laughs> So this is good. Let's try it. Oh mm, my goodness. Mm, if I'm not allergic to nuts, I would put here some uh, slivered almonds will be good. Or even whole almonds. Or cashew. Oh my gosh, I used to do that before. All right, this is done. Done to my liking. I actually need more salt. Believe it or not, I, I also use salt. Depends on what I'm using it for, right? And that additional olive oil was awesome. All right, let's put that in here. That's done. Some oil. Maybe a little bit more because I love the olive oil. Let me some olive oil. All right, we're going to put all of this kale. And you know what? I'm going to cover it right away and just give it a quick steam. Now I'm going to bring it back to boil because I turn it down low. It's all about the timing, you guys, you know? Remember, kale cooking always in high heat. And this is cooking low and slow right here, you guys. Look at that. Oh, yummy. Mmm. You can also put paper lime in this one. It's like a bay leaf, but it's kind of limey bay leaf. Oh, I want to try the, the salt in this. Mmm, goodness, you guys. Mmm, maybe I'll put broccoli in this, in this one, huh? All right. Let's get this. Yum. Mm. All right, let's add some salt in this. Himalayan pink salt. All right, it's almost boiling. I think we're almost there. By the time I finish everything, this hopefully should be done. <laughs> yeah, should be done. Yeah, the chicken is pretty much cooked. I just wanted to kind of just leave it there for a little bit more longer. The, the heat is very low, so it's not going to really hurt it. But let's try the chicken, you guys. Oh, let me finish this first. All right, this is done. I've turned this off already. Look at that, look at that. You just quick saute it, you know? That's done. You don't have to cook it too much. Believe it or not, you guys, it's kind of like have a nutty taste to it. That's why I thought about adding nuts in it. <laughs> okay, this is boiling. That's perfect timing. We're gonna add the broccoli on that boiling water. Careful with it. 
I know it's a pasta water, but that's fine. It, it brings character, right? All right, go down there. All of it. I want it down there. Okay. We just wanted to bring out the green color in that and then about 45 seconds to a minute. Then we're going to saute it. So let's put olive oil again on this uh, pan. Not much. Let's turn this back on. The pan is still hot, so it's perfect. It's very hot. <laughs> Get that. All right, we're done with the oil for good, for real. I think our broccoli is, is, is good. I'm going to get the broccoli, put it in a strainer, and then put it in here. This one is a little big, but you know what? That'll do it. I'm okay with that. Gonna get some salt again for the broccoli. Maybe I'll cut this big one a little bit. Two like that. Two good. There you go. So this is high heat. Again, this is also good with nuts, you guys. You can put like almond nuts or peanuts or cashew or any nuts you want. There you go. Need that for a sec while I'm cleaning this thing up. All right, that should be good. Mmm, looks so good, you guys. That looks good to me. Oh, it smells so good. All right, let's give it a try. Let's try this tiny one here. Ooh, it's hot. It needs a little bit more Himalayan pink salt, you guys. This is what I use. It needed some salt. Lots of salt. Okay. Good. Broccoli is done. All right, finally the curry is done, you guys. I just turned this off. And I already have a little bite, but it is so awesome, you guys. It's butter. It's so tender. Mmm. 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 Oh, my gosh. For the um, basil, I'm just kind of... I know, kind of weird, huh? Just do that, kind of get it all partitioned. Okay, pasta sauce, we'll get basil as well. Okay, let me put a little bit more here. And then I'll just stir it in there. So we use all the basil. And then I'll just pretty much stir this in there, the basil. I know, I did it like that because by the time we reheat this, the basil will just cook into it. And even if you eat the basil actually like that, it's still really, really, really good. So this style is when you're meal prepping, but if you're eating this, obviously you're just gonna put the basil right away. And it's still hot, you know, it's still gonna wilt the basil a little bit. We'll just mix this all in there. So with this one, we're just gonna Mix in the bait. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. It smells so dang good. Dang good. I love it. All right, you guys, that's everything that we made today. Now we're going to pack it for work. All right, what I do is I put a cup of quinoa on each of these. All right, just give it a stir. Just fluff it up a little bit. There you go. Fluff your quinoa. Wow. 
Okay, so we're gonna do a cup of quinoa on each. Just, just like that. Okay, a cup of quinoa on that. And then here I'm gonna use this for pasta so I can, because pasta I can eat it, you know, either cold or hot. Actually this one we can eat cold or hot too, but the pasta is easier to eat cold or hot. So I'm just gonna put pasta right here. So we're gonna put about, uh, I don't know, don't really measure, maybe this is half a cup. So we're gonna put a cup of pasta. So two of these is a cup. Okay, so we have that. Now we're gonna put on the pasta, here's the sauce. We're just gonna put, uh, I think this is two ounces. I don't know, I don't really measure it, but just so you have a, uh, a little guide, I'll probably do four ounces. I like a lot of sauce, so there you go, four ounces. That's done, and here we're gonna uh, do two chicken and two Ah, two chicken. They're both chicken. <laughs> two cur uh, chicken curry and then two Indonesian style chicken. So let's just use this as a measurement. I don't really measure it, but this is just easy. So again, so you know what I'm putting on my, my stuff here and you have an idea. So about that much. That's good. Beautiful. Then another one on this. Beautiful. Okay. Then we're gonna put some veggies. Put this kale. I will do the kale because I really love kale. I don't really, I like a lot of kale. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then I'll do the kale here, and then I'll put Indonesian style chicken there. So I have kale and broccoli, one of each. Oh, I really love kale, huh? Oh, put more kale in there, okay. And then on the other two, I'll put broccoli. Let me just fix this basil a little bit so it looks nicer. There you go. So let's put a broccoli here. So we got a variety of veggies. You know what I'm saying? There you go. And then now we're gonna add the chicken on the other side here. On this other. I'm just gonna use this spoon. I'm not gonna measure it because I don't really measure it about four or five pieces, you know, if you want to. It's more than enough for me. And then I put a little sauce. Oh, I forgot to put the curry sauce on the quinoa. I'm not gonna have to do that. Okay, let's put this in there. So we get a variety of veggies, variety of food, which is I like. It's how I like to eat. Okay, let's put a little sauce in here too. Papa likes a lot of sauce. I'm not a very saucy kind of person, but I want a little bit of it. So for the curry, let's put a little curry sauce. Curry sauce. There you go. Just a little bit. And that's it, you know guys. You know guys. That's it, you guys. That's pretty much what I'm going to bring for work. I mean, not all of it, but I always have two or four ready and then four pasta. And then the rest right here, it's gonna stay at home. Sometimes I give some to my baby girl. We drive and bring her some prep food and she's happy because she feels like she's getting a delivery. So that's it. So there's a lot of food left here, you guys. These are not going to any form of waste. These are gonna be eaten on our daily stay here, also at home. We eat the same food as what we bring to work. And also I'm gonna pack some for Papa as well. I have more of these containers and those containers. 
So I'm gonna pack some for him so he can bring for work as well. Um, and yeah, there's plenty of it here to share. And look, the sauce. I told you Papa likes the sauce, so I purposely make extra sauce for him because he loves it. He, I don't know how he eats it, but I'm not really saucy kind of person. I like a little bit on my quinoa, but he likes, I think he likes drinking it. <laughs> so there's still a lot of sauce on this one here. So yeah, uh, I pretty much put that in a separate container just for him because he loves it. So tons of pasta here tons of veggies i'm gonna pack some stuff for papa so he can eat some of this while he's working outside so he doesn't have to buy food out there which is usually not good because this one is not just delish at least we know exactly what's in it you know that's it for our flight attendant meal prep for today thank you so much you guys for staying until the end of this video i really really appreciate it i probably still have some uh, pillow massage pillow marks on my face <laughs> i was there for like an hour and a half i'm actually glad that i get to uh, get a massage first before i cooked and i felt really great doing this i'm glad that i actually did this for only an hour and 15 minutes and that's actually vlogging it if i did this without vlogging it i'd probably do this in less than an hour and maybe an hour total with prepping like cleaning and cutting and all of the uh, prepping the ingredients so lots of food you guys come on over and let's eat all of this food <laughs> actually we haven't had dinner yet so we're gonna have dinner we have a lot of choice here for dinner i don't know what i what i want because i want all of them but i'm probably gonna have a little bit of everything <laughs> but anyways you guys this is it i like prepping my meal when on my days off just so when i get called especially when i'm on reserve i know i have food and when i have a line definitely i will have food because i know my schedule when i have a line but if you have any questions about any of these i'm gonna try to put together a um recipe for you guys so you can screenshot it so stay tuned the recipe is coming up right after this all right if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and remember to share this video with someone you love <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this please consider subscribing to my youtube channel jojo tv Thank you very much for your time. Maraming salamat po. Mwah!